Dude, I am fired up. We are riding in clearly not the Corolla, clearly not the Orange K5 or the FJ. We are in a 1992 Chevy S10 and it is purple and it has flames. Now my grandfather back in the day used to have a truck with flames and some other type of psychedelic 80s and 90s kind of pattern on it. And they called it the flame. And that is one of the few pictures I have left of him. So a neighbor, you know, calls me up the other day and asks if I wanted this one. And I said, it's hard to say no to that. So we got ourselves the flame. It's a little 4.3 liter V6 rear wheel drive, seven foot four inch bed, which is kind of interesting. But it is such a fun little ripper to be driving around right now. Something about driving a truck that is smaller than some cars on the street is pretty fun. It definitely turns some heads with these nice pretty purple flames on the side, but I am loving it. About 45, 50 minutes total. Part of, it, part of it on the highway where the speed limit's like 70. Part of it on some little back roads where it's just kind of windy. Speed limit's like 35. And then a section where it goes from like 45 to 55 with some stoplights here and there. And I've got to say, she is running like a champ. Temperatures have been good, voltage good, gas gauge doesn't work, but we're still moving, so that's good. The only thing that I've been kind of watching is when I come to red lights, or like right now I'm coming to a stop sign, the oil pressure does dip a little bit. So I don't know if we're losing it through, if it's burning oil, if I'm leaking oil. I haven't noticed any drips under anything yet. So that's something we'll just have to crawl and look at later. I mean, it's, man, it feels smooth though. Like even when I come to a stop, it doesn't get to like a rough idle or anything like that. Just the gauge goes down some, but it seems to drive smooth. We are on our way to race night. It is week seven. We have a new track again. They added some stuff, took, took out some stuff. So I'm excited to see what the new racetrack is. There's only one more week left of this and then we'll probably get into maybe some fun stuff with this. S10, there's a little rattling noise I can hear. I don't know what it's from. Get to some stuff with the S10, get to some stuff with the K5. We have some car shows coming up, some race events coming up. Not that we're gonna be racing in, but the Pittsburgh International Vintage Grand Prix is coming up. So there's some cool cars that come out of that. And it's a pretty large car show, some supercars, some classic cars, all sorts of things. But tonight it is race league. And maybe we'll talk a little bit about this S10. different ways. I couldn't tell if hitting the brake into it, hell, like I holding it tighter was better or going wide into it. I couldn't I couldn't figure that out really. They need like a GPS tracker on the car so they can see where you brake on the track and it has like lap times so with a picture or like through the email it could be a link. You're losing it here, you're doing good here. Yeah. Started in third, ended in last. I lost some positions there. 
Oh well. That's okay. Rough night regarding. <laughs> Ended up in the uh, the third group of racers, which isn't the worst. Out here to have fun, so learning a lot, and uh, it's been a good time. If you want to see more of the '92 Purple Blazer, or Purple Blazer, Purple S10, the Flame, then follow along, like, subscribe. I'm gonna post a video on that next. Uh, thanks for watching. Feel your heart race. Catch you next time. Alrighty, well, we are back from the karting league. Drug the flame, drug the flame out there. That was fun. Some of the guys got a kick out of it. They liked it. Some of them are into the little old square body Chevy S10s and uh, some, you know, some good old small block Chevy power. But uh, that was fun. Just drove pretty good. Got to check out some oil pressure. I'm tired. I'm going in. I'm going to bed. We'll see you.